Welcome, dear friends, to this special moment of communion and prayer. Today, together, we will delve into the powerful Psalms 91 and 23, which offer U.S. comfort, hope, and security in the unwavering promises of our loving God. In the next few minutes, I invite you to join us in a time of reflection, worship, and intercession. Let us come together in prayer, trusting in the presence of the Lord who is always with us, even in life's most challenging moments. May this time of communion serve as a reminder of God's love and faithfulness and may it bring peace and encouragement to each of us. Thank you for joining us on this journey of faith and prayer. Let's begin our time together. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him, I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion, and the cobra the young lion, and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Dear God, loving Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and humility, acknowledging that you are our refuge and strength, our shepherd who cares for us in every moment. As we meditate on Psalms 91 and 23, we are reminded of your unwavering faithfulness and your constant care for us, your beloved children. In Psalm 91, we find assurance that as we dwell in your presence, we are shielded from harm and protected from all evil. We take comfort in the knowledge that under your wings we find refuge and your truth is our steadfast defense. Even in the face of darkness and danger, we stand firm in the promise that you are with us, guiding us and keeping us safe. And in Psalm 23, we are reminded that you are our shepherd, leading us beside still waters and restoring our souls. Even in the darkest valleys, we need not fear, for you are with us, comforting us with your rod and staff. Your provision is abundant, and your goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives. Lord, in a world filled with uncertainty and fear, help us to hold fast to the truths found in your word. May we trust in your promises and lean on your strength. As we walk through the challenges of life, may your presence be our constant companion, guiding us and sustaining us. We thank you, Lord, for your unending love and grace. May our lives be a testimony to your faithfulness as we live each day in the light of your truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, as we delve deeper into your word, we are reminded of the power of prayer and the importance of seeking your presence daily. Teach us to dwell in your secret place, to abide under the shadow of your wings, finding peace and security in your embrace. Help us to cultivate a life of intimacy with you, where we can hear your voice and experience your guidance in every aspect of our lives. Lord, we lift up those who are facing trials and tribulations, those who are walking through the valleys of life. Bring comfort to the brokenhearted, strength to the weary, and hope to the discouraged. May they find solace in your promises and assurance in your unfailing love. 
We pray for protection over our families, our communities, and our nations. Guard us from harm, both seen and unseen, and grant wisdom to our leaders as they make decisions that impact the lives of many. Let your peace reign in our hearts and in our world, displacing fear and anxiety with your perfect love. In Psalm 23, we are reminded that you are our provider, our healer, and our constant companion. Help us to trust in your provision, to rest in your care, and to follow your lead with confidence and obedience. May your goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives, drawing others to you through the testimony of your faithfulness. Lord, as we go forth from this time of prayer, empower us to live lives that honor and glorify you. May we be beacons of light in a dark world, sharing your love and truth with all whom we encounter. Strengthen us to walk in faith, knowing that you are always with us, guiding us and sustaining us each step of the way. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of coming before you in prayer. May our words be pleasing in your sight, and may your will be done in our lives and in the world around us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Heavenly Father, duh. As we continue to reflect on the words of Psalms 91 and 23, we are reminded of your unwavering presence in our lives. In Psalm 91, we find reassurance that no matter what challenges or dangers we may face, you are our refuge and our fortress. Help us to hold on to this truth, especially during times of uncertainty and difficulty. Strengthen our faith so that we may fully trust in your protection and provision. In Psalm 23, we are comforted by the image of you as our shepherd, guiding us through life's valleys and leading us to places of peace and restoration. Lord, help us to surrender to your leading and to follow you with unwavering obedience. Teach us to rely on your wisdom and guidance in every decision we make, knowing that you have our best interests at heart. Lord, we lift up those who are experiencing fear, anxiety, and doubt. Surround them with your peace that surpasses all understanding and remind them of your unfailing love. Let them feel your presence near to them, comforting them in their time of need. Provide for their every need, whether it be physical, emotional, or spiritual. Father, we also pray for our world, which is filled with so much pain and suffering. Bring healing to those who are sick, comfort to those who are grieving, and justice to those who are oppressed. Use us as instruments of your peace and agents of your love, that we may be a light in the darkness and bring hope to those who are lost. Finally, Lord, we thank you for the privilege of prayer and for the opportunity to commune with you. Help us to cultivate a deeper relationship with you each day, that we may grow in our understanding of your love and your ways. May our lives be a reflection of your goodness and grace, drawing others into your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we conclude this time of prayer and reflection, we are grateful for your presence among us. Thank you for the assurance found in your word and for the promise of your protection and provision. May these truths resonate deeply within our hearts as we go forth from this place. Lord, we lift up each person who has joined in this prayer, asking that you would meet them at their point of need, comfort the brokenhearted, heal the sick, and provide for the needs of every individual. Let your peace reign in their lives, and may they experience your love in tangible ways. As we navigate the challenges of life, help us to keep our eyes fixed on you, our ever-present help in times of trouble. Guide us in your paths of righteousness and empower us to walk in obedience to your will. Finally, Lord, we ask for your blessings upon those who have participated in this time of prayer. May they be encouraged and strengthened by your spirit, and may your presence continue to abide with them throughout the week ahead. In closing, we invite those who are listening to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and activate the notification bell. By doing so, they can stay connected with our community and receive updates on future prayers and reflections. We pray that this platform may continue to be a source of encouragement and inspiration to all who engage with it. We ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.